Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this tutorial, I'm excited to teach you one of my favorite Beatles songs, Day Tripper. It's a very groovy song, pretty much a bluesy song, blues, rock and roll kind of song. A great bass line, an incredible melody, some amazing vocal harmony, chords are beautiful. Wow, it, I can go on and on. Now, to encapsulate all that on the piano, and as you probably know, there's no real piano in the song. It's just guitar and bass guitar. There's an incredible bass guitar line, amazing vocals, backing vocals, drums are incredible. So I've just tried to figure out a way to play this entire song on the piano. And I have two versions for you. One will be an accompaniment version which you can use with your bandmates or with you singing perhaps or with someone else singing. And another version would be where we play the melody in the right hand and the bass line in the left hand. It's almost like two, two melodies or what two people would do. So stick around till the very end and to supplement your learning you could consider becoming a Patreon on our Patreon page patreon.com slash Jason Zach. On this particular portal for $5 you'll get the handwritten notes, the staff notation for all Everything I do on YouTube is including this lesson and you could also bump up the tires and look at other options like workshops, some monthly workshops with me and also courses, video content, other resources, classes and whatnot. So do consider giving our Patreon page a check and that will also support our channel a great deal. And before we get cracking, please consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for regular notifications. That will give you a ring whenever we go live, whenever there's a new premiere or a riff or a new lesson which will come your way on our YouTube channel. Let's start. So first off, the bass riff, let me play it for you and then share it. So for the most part, this is the main riff and it gets transposed a bit. Even at the bridge, it gets transposed. But for the most part, you're going to play this riff with E as the pivot. This is the main riff. You know it's this song. In fact, the song starts like this. And being a bass riff, you'd want to play it in your left hand. Let me guide you with the fingering which I use. That's E, G, G sharp. So that's a bit kind of tricky to play both those notes. So I go... My ring finger is needed. Otherwise, I will run out of fingers. So ring, pinky on the E. Ring on the minor third G. G sharp. B, which is the perfect fifth. E, D. So E, G, G sharp. B, E, D. And then bring your pinky back here to play B flat. B, F sharp, B, D, E, B, D, E. I end with my thumb so that I can flip over and repeat it and loop it. Index, middle, thumb, back, one. The first one is a dotted crotchet which is lasting for one and a half counts. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Otherwise, it's just a continuous set of notes also between the bars. And two and three and four and one and... There's nothing at the one and. Instead, it's a sustain from the previous four and. One and two and three and four and... Two and three and four and... Another pause happens. One and two and three and four and one and... Two and three and four and... Those are your hits. One and two and three and four and one, two and three. And this goes over the E seventh chord. So to voice the E seventh chord, I'm using this voicing, which is a very minimal and a cluster of notes. I'm doing B, D, E. I could even do a full-on E7, but that's not what we are really hearing in the song. We're hearing a more minimal guitar voicing. So I'm doing B, D, E in my right hand. That's the bass line. And the right hand supports it with chords. Whenever you get confident with this, as a 
our head moves with the track we try to bring the pulse in our right hand ta 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 1 2 3 4 5 2 3 start move your head now this might be tough until you get the bass line very well so till then just play whole notes semi breathes get the correct fingering and then maybe after a couple of days if you're not so sure you can then bring in the pulse of the right hand and try it try it a bit staccato and with with a lot of dynamics some could be legato some could be staccato vary your volume different articulations around the music lazier choppier now all you have to do throughout the rest of the song what you can then do when you the next chord is by is a major by, by the way so he goes got a good reason still take it the easy way out now that whole two lines will be on the same e riff which is copy pasted twice got a good reason taking the easy way out now the whole story copy pastes itself but transposes and then copies on the a so you're going to the four chord so we are kind of on a blues progression so you play the one chord four times 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 
same now a7 i am playing as e g a c sharp i like that voicing that's a7 a flat 7 to find out that's c sharp or d flat 7 B dominant seven, which is a beautiful chord, beautiful chord construction. Because in their head, how do they turn around or how do they reloop the song? Play the five. So the five of the scale, which is E, is B seven. So I found a paradise. Back to the root. So let me just do the second part or the chorus part of the song. Trip up, mm, one way ticket. Yeah, it took me so oh, A seventh, uh, uh, A flat seventh, to find out D flat seventh. I found out so every chord in this song are dominant seventh chords. So you may want to brush up how to form the dominant chord in the first place. See my handwritten notes. and also the way we've notated it in our staff notation so a dominant seventh chord in a nutshell is a major chord in some inversion and then you add a flat seven which is also called as a minor seventh or a dominant seventh interval to it so if you take it let's say all your chords or just one chord e major will be e g sharp b its seven will be with a d which is actually seven flat and then you add you can play it wherever with 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 four inversions so that's e g sharp b d or d e g sharp b or b d e g sharp or you could do g sharp b d e a lot of inversions for these chords so to make it easy i've kind of removed one note and then it's a bit easier to shift so see the notation as well and also the formation of the dominant seventh chords so let's roll this from the top and then i'm going to uh, let's do this day tripper chorus and then i'm going to show you what the bass does we've done the bass of got a good reason then we transposed it but we haven't yet done i'm going to show that hang on so day tripper get the count one way ticket yeah it took me so a7 oh oh long one bar of a7 one bar of a flat 7 so oh oh long to find out i found out to find out i found out coming to the bass line of the b section or the chorus she was a day pam pa 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 pam that's pretty much all that's going on pam pa da di da da now the way i like to play it the original is beautiful bass line which is 1 3 5 7 flat major 6th octave so you slide your hand inside your thumb finger rather come back down this is how i like to play it you could also do your index there so your index is kind of flipping between the c sharp and the d sharp the way i like to play it sometimes uh, at gigs i'll do leave out the one and go a bit later and two and three i like that variety so so it goes well with the chord in the right hand let's do that day trip one way ticket yeah day trip one way ticket yeah that that part will be one more time copy paste it so now so long will be um very similar to the f sharp bass line that's one get your intervals going that would be 
थ्री फाइव सेवन फ्लैट सिक्स ऑप्टिव वन थ्री फ्लैट सॉरी वन थ्री नॉर्मल फाइव सेवन फ्लैट सिक्स नेचुरल एंड देन ऑक्टिव सो इट्स द सेम स्टोरी यू गोइंग टू डू विद द ए एंड देन द ए फ्लैट कॉर्ड kind of reserving my index finger for that f sharp and my thumb will go from g to a to the octave when it comes so long so so that will work for the so long so long is the, again the same intervals same fingering but a bit tricky because a is a white chord and a flat is a black chord so it's quite easy once you practice it that's your f sharp na 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 then a coming up a a flat a a flat and what chords the uh, a a seventh first of all so i'm playing like this sliding my entire hand by one semitone or one step chromatic step down to accommodate the a flat and try to play the pulse in the right hand in as much of a staccato way as possible find out so how am i play that the bass line kind of simplifies itself to do pam pam pa 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 pam 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 pa that's 1 2 3 e 4 1 2 3 e 4 we don't do any kind of sevens it's just the chord 1 3 5 5, 5 octave 1 3 5 5 octave of the two chords namely c sharp seventh and b seventh i'm playing the right hand like this Hold it. Found out. Okay, so let's try and do this entire comping technique with the chords in the right hand, with the bass line in the left hand, and then see how it goes. E seventh with that riff. once without talking normal speed and then a bit slow
right guys so that was an accompaniment version which you can use with your band or you could sing if you can develop that independence which is already quite tricky with the left hand doing the bass line and the right hand doing the uh, chord comping pattern but i thought we should go one step further and get the vocal line also on the piano and i've arranged it in an exciting way where i've got the lead vocal and at times we are also going to fool around and bring in the harmony because this is an incredible duet you hear always two singers or two voices in the song sometimes three and the beatles are known for their vocal harmony so let me first teach you the melody and the way i've arranged it in the right hand and the exact same thing which i taught you all through in the bass clef will remain it's just going to be a lot of work to coordinate the two hands as even i found out when i ended up learning the song uh, for myself so if you take the right hand let me first walk you through the melody for a good reason so you want to choke that in of reason that's a staccato for a good reason and then i'm taking a gap because that's how it is in the song a whole bar of no vocals got a good reason this will go So when you do this god a good reason again it goes over the a chord So I'm just kind of skipping the taking the easy way out cuz I've harmonized that I'll teach you that later so go, the god a good reasons if you will so god a good reason bass the second time when the when the bass is a 7th you end on the a got a good reason that's what we do in the song when you do a and now the taking the easy way out the first time we sing that i'm doing a harmony so if you want to just do the melody taking the easy way out just that taking the easy way out second time taking the easy way out now we had the now taking the easy way out second time got a good reason second time taking the easy way out now with the harmony taking the e with the harmony taking taking i'm doing taking the is actually the vocal harmony in the song so taking the taking the e z way out now or way out so thirds and ends on a third diatonic thirds but the middle notes are not thirds they are fourth intervals taking the e taking the e that's the harmony taking the easy way out now so you could get that on the piano do a little bit of finger uh, crossing and flipping to help you along the way just follow my fingers taking the e sometimes i go taking the e i do this rather annoying looking technique but it's very effective i just flip out fingers you see the sound is not dying so in my in my book it's fine because it sounds good to me i don't want to choke it i don't want it to be taking the e like like a shock taking the e so i'd rather go taking the e z way out cuz i have to come all the way down there that's the song taking the e <clears throat> could flip out your middle and bring in your pinky there taking the easy way out and i want to make one point noted that i'm playing the entire melody in octave higher because otherwise it'll really clash with the piano remember we are just trying to do justice to the to the song the original song is incredible you should definitely go and listen to that if you haven't already but to accommodate the notes on the piano logistically the left hand is already low if the right hand comes low they will clash so i'm playing the right hand higher for more separation and to even be able to play it in the first place so the whole story now line 1 without the 
a riff yet just melody wait for that bar and then again okay with the riff slow it remember you have gap so in that gap you're not going to mentally be fried so much because it's only left hand and no right hand so whole thing one more time slowly moving forward to that a bass line what did i tell you for the a variation melody goes to a there good reason over the a seventh and and taking the e there's a syllable added there got a good reason i know and taking the e there's an extra syllable with the word for got a good reason at that third line so at the end of the four you go for taking the e and then back to the normal hum for taking the easy way out now you add the word now and you add the word for which precedes the bar so whole line three got a good reason don't forget the a change and for for e at the end of the four for taking the easy way out now and then this ends with the she was a day tripper so she was a she was a so let's put that whole line 3 and line 4 into context only melody first got a good reason then for taking with the harmony for taking the easy way out now she was a she was a so we do the natural d there so makes it very bluesy got, got a good reason gap for taking the easy way out now and now she was a she was a with the whole bass ensemble now for take then you have to come back to the e which is a bit tricky let's do that again so she was a is a bit weird because the bass line naturally will go parara but she was a is b d b fourth line so one more time the third line and the fourth line again okay so we let me show you through the first four lines now as best as possible play along or follow along at least and then play along maybe later if you haven't built the coordination yet coming to the day tripper chorus part first of all the left hand is just going that as we learned earlier in the bass line okay and preceding that she was a, that i taught you earlier now she was a day a, a tripper she was a day a, a tripper one more she was a day a, a, a tripper then one way take it yeah one way take it yeah again she was a day tripper stop again one way take it yeah 
It took me so long. It took me so long to find out. I found out. Okay. So again, she was a slowly. She was a day tripper. One way ticket. Yeah. It took me so long, long as E flat. It took me so E and then E flat. It took me so long to find out. I found out. Now the ending I have. I found out with the harmony. I found out, which is higher F, higher D sharp with respect to the B. With the bass, let's attempt the at least the F sharp part. So let's do that again with some vocals. She was a day tripper, one way. Okay, let's only do the day tripper. She was a she was a day. She was a day tripper again. Day tripper. Moving on. Now a lot of off beats there. Pretty much the end of the two, end of the three, and end of the four. Just get that one-way ticket slowly. Quite tricky. Then it took me one-way ticket here. It took me. four bars of the F sharp dominant seventh part again with this bass riff which you're familiar with I guess and then it goes into the turn round which we learnt earlier so last time again just the F sharp part she was a day Tripper, one way ticket. Yeah. Then it took me so long. So let's do the it took me so long to find out part, which is A seventh and A flat seventh, and the bass line goes, which we have discussed earlier. It took me so let's do that later let's break the last line into two it took me so again Okay, one more time slowly. Okay, let's do the ending. The melody will go. Two dotted quavers there. One. So whole story. Only that. Keep going. La 
last line again you can even see the notation maybe slightly slower Okay, the whole melody line again with with everything with the bass line as well. Let's give it an attempt. Uh, actually, let me do it in two phases before we end. One is only melody with just the chord roots, and then we'll do the melody with the actual bass line, and then we pack up the lesson. E pulse in the left for now. Harmony way out. Now A coming up. Forget that in the melody. Way way out now. She was a F sharp. One way. All those ends. It took me so long. E flat to find out. I found out with a the harmony there. Let's try this with the bass line and see how that goes. So throughout the lesson we've kind of tried to increment our study of the song we started with just the bass line the iconic bass line then we fueled up the chords in the right hand to play a nice staccato pulse with the song with the lyrics as a nice accompaniment version then we looked at a rather challenging ordeal which would be the melody in the right hand and the bass guitar line in the left hand almost like two instruments playing together which is probably how the beatles performed it in the first place you will have paul mccartney playing the line and then singing it so well something they do or they did rather and something you should probably strive to do eventually and all the best with this guys hope you find the notation useful as well if you don't read you still have my handwritten notes where i've pointed out the hit points and stuff like that it's all available on our patreon page do consider heading over there and for a 5 dollar subscription you'll get all this stuff and more lots more actually on the patreon page Thanks a ton for watching the lesson hope you enjoyed it do share it around do leave us a like a comment and anything else you'd like me to teach and as always this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music I look forward to catching you in the next video too cheers